You know, it's awful windy. This isn't going to be easy. No, it's not. But like John F. Kennedy said, we choose to go to the sea today and do the other things, not because it is easy, but because it is hot. <laughs> Best John F. Kennedy impression I've ever done in my whole life. <laughs> That's the only impression you can do. <laughs> On this episode of Sea Kayak Life, we are all looking for adventure. Before we begin this episode, subscribe and like to help us grow our channel. Thanks. We're in historic St. Helena, South Carolina, part of the Sea Islands. We don't always have this luxury, but we're taking the opportunity today to scout a launch point for an expedition we're going to plan out to one of the Sea Islands. It's about eight miles out. And we just want to make sure there are no surprises when we show up at, what's it going to be, five o'clock in the morning? <laughs> yes. So we want everything kind of planned out and figured out. A lot of times you look at Google Maps and you can get some good ideas of where you want to go, but it's really nice to be here. We've also gotten in trouble. Yeah. And speaking of being here, we're going to go check out some of the historic sites of St. Helena. The South Carolina Low Country is home to the Gullah people. They are African Americans who are descendants from slaves as far back as the late 1600s. They have a unique culture and dialect. While looking about, we found a great place for lunch before continuing our scout day. The next day, an early wake-up call. We have about an hour drive to the put-in site. Our hope is to be there by sunrise. Okay, it's an early morning here on St. Helena. The sun is just coming up. Beautiful morning. Too early for me. I'm still having the breakfast of champions and trying to wake up. I just had a Starbucks. So we're starting to perk up a little bit, but where are we headed today? We got about seven or eight miles to paddle out to an uninhabited island. I think it's called Capers Island. Uh, we should be able to have a good time looking around. The current should take us out, so it should be a pretty easy paddle. Uh, not much wind right now. We're supposed to have a lot of wind this afternoon. Okay. So we'll probably have a fight to get back here. Well, it's going to be a great day. We got to get the boats off the car and get going. Get up and give hope a try. Don't let the chance pass us by. All we got to do is give the world a little bit of love, love, love. Get up and give hope a try. After about two and a half miles, we leave the small creek and enter the main channel. Because of the current, our speed picks up to six miles per hour. So far, this has been an easy trip, but we know when we come around the front of the island, we will have to deal with some waves. This being the first time to Capers Island, we really don't know what to expect. After about six and a half miles, we start to make our way around the face of the island. And as expected, we see waves and swells of about three to four feet.
So we made it to Capers Island. We had a nice paddle this morning. The weather was really good. The winds picked up a little bit, but it's really nice here. Yeah, we've paddled by before. We've never actually been here. And our plan was to approach the island from the riverside right as we were going by. It was a pretty big current. Yeah. But we couldn't see. Our eyeballs are two feet off the water. You can't get any perspective. So we decided let's go on out to sea, get a ways out, and then we can kind of look back at the beach and see what's going on. The waves didn't look too big, so we came about a mile north back up the beach. And while we were out in the water looking at this beach, this island, we saw some interesting things. <laughs> yeah, it looked crazy. Why don't we go check it out? All right. <laughs> it really is a backhoe. <laughs> well, you said that. I thought it was a tree, but who loses a backhoe? They must have tried to dredge something out of here. Okay, we've never found anything like this on an island. I wonder if it works. <laughs> I'm the king of the island! We had a great day on Capers Island. I really enjoyed exploring a new place. The sun has come out, but so has the wind. Yeah. We've got about 30 minutes to get back out to sea, go around the south end of the island to get back in the river and catch the current. Yep. If it all goes right, hopefully our ground crew will be waiting on us. Let's hope so. And of all the crazy things we've <laughs> ever found on an island, a sunken backhoe, like that takes the cake. <laughs> we found a backhoe. It's all part of our sea kayak life. As we leave Backhoe Island, the tide has flipped and is at maximum flow. So we need to get out to sea and take advantage of the current. Often, the waves will build on the incoming tide, but we're not concerned about that. What we are concerned about is the wind has picked up dramatically. As expected, punching through the waves was not bad. In this part of the country, as you come around the south end of an island and go into a river, there's generally some topsy-turvy water, and there's no exception here. As we head up the river, the wind hits us hard, straight in our face. We suddenly encounter big swells. It's because the current is with us and the wind is against us. These two counter forces are creating large swells. We both feather our paddles at 60 degrees, which helps with wind resistance. But it still feels like the paddle wants to fly out of our hands. Whenever we're in the surf, we use paddle leashes. But with this wind, the leashes provide additional safety. It feels like we're not even moving. But we can see on our watches that we're moving forward at about 4 miles per hour, paddling pretty hard. 
It's encouraging that we're making good forward progress, but we've been battling the wind and swells for an hour and a half. We desperately need a break, but we can't stop paddling because we'll get blown backwards. Finally, we make the turn into the creek and we're able to dial it back. We're really glad to be out of the wind. It's just a nice, calm, sunny day. There's no wind. I know. People are going to say, it wasn't it a beautiful day? I feel alive. Yeah, I feel alive. How about that return trip? It was a fight. We had bigger waves coming up the river than we had in the ocean because we had current going one way and wind going the other way, like 20 knot winds. Right, and some of those swells in the in the river were three feet easy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was crazy. But we were still going about four miles yeah, an hour. It just didn't feel like it. It felt like we weren't even moving. If I had not had a GPS watch, I would have sworn we were going backwards. So the great thing is when we made the final turn, the wind was at our back and we were going like five and a half miles an hour and just paddling like babies. It was so nice. It was two wonderful. Two miles of easy paddling. It was like a cool down. So we had a great day overall. It was rough, but we did it. Sometimes it's good to do things that are hard, right? I'm glad to be back at the car. It's all part of our Z Kayak life. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Here's two more videos I think you'll like.